And this year marks the 100th anniversary of the armistice that ended World War I. And now a forgotten chapter of that war set here in Central Texas is being revived on stage. A play debuting tonight in Seguin tells the story of a German American swept up in anti-German sentiment and charged with treason. Now Chris Davis checked out a recent rehearsal, Chris, and you have the latest on why this is um, a very special story for one family. Good morning. Good morning, Sally and John, and it's special really for uh, everyone here in Central Texas. As you know, there's a lot of uh, German heritage here in the area. Anyone here at the German Texan Heritage Society can tell you that. But this story is about one German Texan in particular. The play is called Will's War, and it's based on this book, obviously, of the same name. It stars uh, this guy. The, the uh, story is about this guy, Will Bergfeld. He was a first-generation American born in Seguin to uh, German immigrant parents. And so this book, Will's War, was written by his granddaughter. The play is written by and stars his great-great-grandson. Sometimes it takes acting. And then ill 86. To illuminate a truth. We are getting to learn about our characters firsthand. I mean, from people that knew them and that loved them. The story played out in 1917. The government and the public at that time, they were suspicious of people with a German background. Will Bergfeld was 28 years old when my mother was in the room when they broke down all the windows and doors. Bergfeld was a labor organizer in West Texas at the time and was charged with treason. Everybody had sort of this hysteria. The playwright interprets for the government. We owe it to the rest of our citizens to make sure they feel safe and they don't feel safe with you around, so you, you gotta go. You don't think about it until you watch the whole show and you go, wait a second, I've, these things make, like, I've, I've seen all this before. Seguin has changed a lot since then. The story, perhaps, has not. It's crazy how relevant it is. All you have to do is change the ethnicity of the person that they're talking about and you have the morning news. The stage is the courtroom, the audience, the jury. I just want them to reflect um, and, and, and think what is America? really supposed to be about. So no spoilers here. We're not going to tell you what happens in this trial or how it ends, though if you've read the book version, then there's a really good chance you already know. So the play opens tonight at Seguin High School's Performing Arts Center. It's going to run this weekend and next weekend, after which they hope to take it on tour. We've got ticket details on our website. We'll send it back to you. Chris, thank you. Now, some accounts put the number of Germans arrested in the U.S. at more than 60,000 throughout the war. Just four days after the U.S. entered World War I, the series of explosions at an ammunition plant near Philadelphia killed more than 130, many of them women and children. German sympathizers were blamed, but the actual cause of the blast remains in question. Faulty equipment may have sparked the explosion.